Did you grow up with parents who showed narcissistic traits? It must have been difficult understanding them and caring for yourself. It can be a great challenge just figuring out why they act the way they do, what makes them treat you a certain way, or why setting boundaries was next to impossible around them. In this video, we will tackle everything about narcissistic mothers and how they affect their children and those around them. In the realm of psychology and human behavior, few personality traits have captured as much attention and intrigue as narcissism often used colloquially to describe someone excessively self-absorbed or preoccupied with their own achievements. The term narcissism is deeply rooted in mythology, psychology and modern culture. While it may be tempting to dismiss narcissism as a simple one-dimensional concept, a closer examination reveals a complex and multifaceted trait that can have far-reaching implications for individuals and society as a whole. Derived from the Greek myth of Narcissus, a young man who became infatuated with his own reflection and eventually turned into a flower, narcissism has evolved from a mythological tale into a psychological construct. The term was first introduced to the world of psychology by Sigmund Freud in the early 20th century, but it wasn't until the latter half of the century that researchers began to systematically study and understand narcissism as a personality trait. Narcissism is characterized by a grandiose sense of self-importance, a constant need for admiration, and a lack of empathy for others. It exists on a spectrum, ranging from healthy self-esteem to pathological narcissism, the latter often associated with Narcissistic Personality Disorder, NPD. People with NPD exhibit an exaggerated sense of entitlement, a belief in their inherent superiority, and a tendency to exploit others for personal gain. However, it's crucial to note that not all manifestations of narcissism are inherently negative or destructive. Healthy narcissism, often referred to as adaptive narcissism, is a necessary component of self-confidence and self-worth. It enables individuals to assert themselves, pursue goals and maintain healthy self-esteem. On the other hand, when narcissistic traits become excessive and maladaptive, they can lead to interpersonal difficulties, strained relationships, and emotional turmoil. The rise of the digital age has also given rise to the phenomenon of social media narcissism, where individuals curate carefully crafted online personas to project an idealized version of themselves to the world. The constant validation-seeking behavior driven by likes, comments, and shares has given new dimensions to the exploration of narcissistic tendencies in the modern era. As researchers delve deeper into the intricacies of narcissism, they uncover the psychological underpinnings that drive this complex trait. Early life experiences, such as overindulgence or neglect, can contribute to the development of narcissistic traits. Additionally, advances in neuroimaging have provided insights into the neural pathways associated with narcissistic behaviors, shedding light on the neurological basis of this personality trait. It's necessary to embark on a comprehensive exploration of narcissism, peeling back its layers to reveal its origins, manifestations, and impacts on both individuals and society. We need to dig into the differences between healthy and pathological narcissism, examine the diagnostic criteria for narcissistic personality disorder, and discuss the challenges of dealing with narcissistic individuals in various settings. In a world where self-promotion and personal branding are increasingly prevalent, Understanding narcissism is more important than ever. By delving into the complexities of this multifaceted personality trait, we can gain a deeper appreciation for the human psyche, fostering empathy and informed interactions with the diverse array of individuals we encounter in our lives. Narcissistic parents show strong narcissistic traits and behaviors in their parenting approach. Narcissism, as we have discussed, involves having a grandiose sense of self-importance, a lack of empathy, a constant need for admiration and a tendency to use others for personal gain. When these traits are prevalent in a parent's behavior, it can have significant and lasting effects on their children's emotional, psychological and even physical well-being. Psychologically unhealthy traits and behaviors of narcissistic mothers show even as they play their role as a mother. A narcissistic mother often has an inflated sense of her own importance and may believe that her needs and desires should come first over everything else, including their children's needs. She also struggles to genuinely empathize with her children's emotions and experiences. She may downplay their feelings or dismiss their concerns. 
She is also adept at manipulating situations and people, including her own children, and may use guilt, emotional manipulation, or other tactics to maintain control and keep her children obedient. She may expect her child to fulfill her own emotional needs, using them as a source of validation and support. This can lead to a role reversal where the child becomes the emotional caretaker for the parent. When it comes to boundaries, narcissistic mothers often have poor boundaries and have a tendency to invade her child's personal space, emotions and thoughts. She has little to no respect for their need for privacy and independence. For instance, she might not care at all about giving her young child the space he or she needs during a tough time. She wouldn't think twice bothering them, especially if there's something he needs or wants from them. Her main goal is to be in complete control of how her child thinks and behaves, turning them into a puppet who acts exactly as she wants them to. Narcissistic mothers may also view their children's accomplishments or successes as a reflection of their own worth. They may become competitive with their children, attempting to outshine or undermine them in anything. Moreover, a narcissistic mother projects her own insecurities, fears and flaws onto her child. She may criticize her child for qualities she dislikes in herself. Another trait is having unpredictable reactions. Children of narcissistic mothers often learn to walk on eggshells to avoid triggering unpredictable and extreme emotional reactions, which can lead to chronic anxiety and a constant fear of displeasing the mother. The love they receive is conditional since it's dependent on their ability to meet their mother's expectations and demands. They may feel loved only when they conform to her wishes and when her mood swings are not dictating her feelings. Gaslighting and neglect or overindulgence are also clear signs of a narcissistic mother. Gaslighting is a common tactic where the narcissistic mother distorts reality and makes the child doubt his or her own perceptions. This can lead to confusion, self-doubt, and a distorted sense of reality. With neglect or overindulgence, the narcissistic mother may swing between neglecting her children's emotional needs or overindulging them to the point of smothering. Both extremes can be damaging to the child's emotional development. Narcissistic mothers are also obsessed with maintaining a positive public image. They strive to put up a good front so others will admire them. If they want to be seen as an exemplary mum, they would do anything to hide their parenting mistakes and highlight their best qualities. They might show affection to their children only at school or brag to other parents how close they are with their children, even when it can't be any more farther from the truth. The following are more traits describing narcissistic mothers. Martyrdom. Narcissistic mothers may portray themselves as self-sacrificing and martyred for their children's sake, using this image to gain sympathy and admiration from others. However, this behavior is often a way to manipulate and guilt trip their children into meeting their demands. Triangulation. Narcissistic mothers may engage in triangulation where they manipulate relationships by pitting family members against each other. This tactic serves to maintain control and divert attention away from their own behaviors. Public versus private persona. Many narcissistic mothers maintain a stark contrast between their public image and their private behavior. In public, they may appear warm, loving and caring, while at home, they exhibit controlling and manipulative tendencies. Emotional withholding. These mothers might withhold emotional support, praise or validation from their children. This withholding creates a sense of longing for approval, driving the child to seek their mother's validation even more desperately. Sabotage. Narcissistic mothers may undermine their children's pursuits, dreams or successes if they feel threatened by their child's potential to surpass them or gain more attention. Enmeshment and independence suppression. Enmeshment is when a parent is overly involved in their child's life to the point of blurring boundaries. Narcissistic mothers might discourage their children from becoming independent, fearing a loss of control and a decrease in the child's dependence on them. Scapegoating and Golden Child Dynamic In families with multiple children, narcissistic mothers might assign roles. A narcissistic parent tends to project different parts of himself onto his children. He or she makes use of the golden child, usually a favorite, to project unfulfilled dreams and ambitions, while the scapegoat is a vessel for his or her shame, self-loathing and insecurities. Manipulative Praise Narcissistic mothers might use praise as a manipulation tactic. They could offer compliments and validation only when it serves their own interests 
or when they want something from their children. Excessive need for control. Narcissistic mothers tend to exert control over their children's choices and decisions. They may struggle to accept their children's autonomy and independence. Difficulty accepting criticism. Narcissistic mothers often have a hard time accepting any form of criticism or feedback, reacting defensively or even aggressively when confronted with their behavior. Excessive criticism. Narcissistic mothers may be overly critical, finding fault in their children's appearance, choices and actions. This constant criticism can lead to a child feeling unlovable and perpetually flawed. Children who grow up with a narcissistic mother can experience a range of profound and lasting effects on their emotional, psychological and social well-being. These effects can continue to influence their lives well into adulthood. Here are some of the common effects that children of narcissistic mothers may experience. Low self-esteem, constant criticism, manipulation and lack of validation from a narcissistic mother can lead to low self-esteem. Children may internalize the belief that they are not good enough and struggle with self-worth. Insecurity. The inconsistent and conditional love offered by a narcissistic mother can result in deep-seated feelings of insecurity. Children may constantly seek external validation to fill the emotional void left by their mother's inability to provide consistent support. Fear of abandonment. Narcissistic mothers often prioritize their own needs over their children's, leading to a fear of abandonment in their children. Children may become overly dependent on relationships and struggle with the fear of rejection. Difficulty expressing emotions. The emotional manipulation and invalidation by a narcissistic mother can cause children to suppress their emotions to avoid conflict. This can lead to difficulty expressing feelings and connecting with others emotionally. Lack of boundaries. Growing up with a narcissistic mother can blur the lines between personal boundaries and enable poor boundary setting in adult relationships. Children might struggle to assert themselves and protect their own needs. Perfectionism. The constant need for approval from a narcissistic mother can result in perfectionistic tendencies. Children may strive to meet unrealistic standards in an attempt to gain their mother's love and validation. People-pleasing. To appease their narcissistic mother, children might develop people-pleasing behaviors. This can continue into adulthood, making it challenging for them to prioritize their own needs and desires. Difficulty trusting. Manipulation, betrayal and emotional volatility from a narcissistic mother can lead to difficulty trusting others. Children may struggle to form healthy relationships and fear being hurt or betrayed. Guilt and shame. Narcissistic mothers often use guilt as a manipulation tactic, leading children to experience pervasive feelings of guilt and shame. These feelings can persist even when the children are not at fault. Anxiety and mental health conditions. The constant exposure to manipulative, self-centered and emotionally unstable behavior can contribute to the development of various mental health issues, including anxiety and other related conditions. Children of narcissistic mothers often show signs that can be subtle, but with careful observation and an awareness of the traits associated with narcissistic behavior, one can begin to discern. Here are some subtle signs to look out for. Inconsistent emotional support. A child with a narcissistic mother might experience a roller coaster of emotional support. At times, the mother might shower the child with affection and attention, but this can quickly shift to indifference or even hostility. This inconsistency can leave the child confused and uncertain about their standing in their mother's eyes. Conditional love. Love and approval from a narcissistic mother often come with conditions. The child might feel that they are only valued when they fulfill their mother's expectations or when they reflect positively on her. This can lead to the child constantly seeking validation and fearing the withdrawal of affection if they fall short. Blurred boundaries. Narcissistic mothers often have difficulty recognizing and respecting their child's boundaries. They might invade their child's personal space, emotions and thoughts, making it challenging for the child to develop a healthy sense of autonomy and individuality. Manipulative guilt tripping. Subtle guilt tripping is a common tactic used by narcissistic mothers to control their children. They may frame their needs and desires in a way that makes the child feel responsible for their mother's happiness, manipulating them into complying with her wishes. Projection of needs. Narcissistic mothers might project their own unmet needs onto their children. 
they may expect their child to fulfill their emotional needs, effectively reversing the roles and burdening the child with the responsibility of providing the care and attention that the mother lacks. Emotional neglect. While narcissistic mothers can be emotionally demanding, they might also neglect their child's emotional needs. The child's feelings and concerns might be dismissed, belittled or ignored, leading the child to believe that their emotions are unimportant. Comparisons and criticism. Narcissistic mothers often compare their child to others, using criticism and comparison as tools to maintain control. This can lead the child to develop a constant sense of inadequacy and a belief that they can never measure up to their mother's standards. Lack of autonomy. These children might have a difficult time making decisions or asserting their own preferences. The mother's need for control can result in the child feeling incapable of making choices on their own as they are conditioned to defer to the mother's opinions. Devaluation and idealization. Narcissistic mothers can oscillate between idealizing and devaluing their child. They might alternate between praising the child's achievements excessively and then dismissing those achievements or criticizing the child's efforts. Isolation from others. Narcissistic mothers often seek to isolate their child from external influences that might challenge their control. This isolation can prevent the child from forming healthy relationships and seeking support from others outside the family. Need for perfection. Children of narcissistic mothers might develop an intense need for perfection as a way to gain their mother's approval. This perfectionism can extend to various areas of life, leading to anxiety and an unrelenting fear of failure. Emotional confusion. The child may experience emotional confusion due to inconsistent feedback and mixed signals from their mother. This confusion can make it difficult for the child to understand their own emotions and navigate relationships effectively. Developing mental health conditions also often happens with children raised by a narcissistic parent. These are some of the most common ones. Generalized anxiety disorder, JADI. Children of narcissistic mothers often grow up in an environment of unpredictability and inconsistency. The fear of not knowing how their mother will react or the worry about meeting her ever-shifting expectations can lead to chronic anxiety. They may become overly anxious about various aspects of their lives from school performance to social interactions. Social anxiety. Constantly seeking approval from a narcissistic mother while navigating her unpredictable reactions can make a child excessively self-conscious. This can contribute to social anxiety as the child might fear judgment and rejection from others just as they have experienced it within the family dynamic. Perfectionism. Narcissistic mothers often demand perfection from their children and set impossibly high standards. As a result, children might develop perfectionistic tendencies in an attempt to gain their mother's approval and avoid criticism. This perfectionism can lead to stress, anxiety and a persistent fear of failure. Low self-esteem. Narcissistic mothers rarely provide genuine validation or support, causing their children's self-esteem to suffer. The constant feeling of not being good enough or worthy of love can contribute to feelings of inadequacy, which are closely tied to anxiety and depressive symptoms. Depression. The emotional neglect, inconsistent love and manipulation from a narcissistic mother can contribute to the development of depression. Children may feel trapped in a cycle of seeking validation that they rarely receive, leading to a sense of hopelessness and low mood. Attachment issues. Children of narcissistic mothers may struggle with forming healthy attachments and relationships. Their early experiences with an unreliable and conditional caregiver can lead to difficulty trusting others and establishing secure connections, which can trigger anxiety in social situations. Fear of abandonment. Narcissistic mothers might use abandonment or withdrawal of affection as a means of control. This can lead to a deep-seated fear of abandonment in the child causing them to become overly clingy or anxious in their relationships. Emotional dysregulation. Growing up in an emotionally volatile environment can impact a child's ability to regulate their own emotions. They might struggle to manage intense emotions and may experience frequent mood swings, which can contribute to anxiety and a sense of instability. Identity confusion. The constant focus on the narcissistic mother's needs and feelings can lead the child to neglect their own sense of identity. 
This confusion about who they are and what they want in life can contribute to anxiety and a sense of being lost. Maladaptive coping mechanisms. Children of narcissistic mothers might develop maladaptive coping mechanisms such as people-pleasing, avoidance or dissociation to navigate the emotional challenges at home. These coping strategies can interfere with their emotional well-being and contribute to anxiety. It's important to note that not all children of narcissistic mothers will experience the same mental health issues and individual responses can vary. Recognizing the impact of a narcissistic mother's behavior and seeking professional help, such as therapy, can provide the necessary tools to cope with and heal from the emotional scars of growing up in such an environment. With appropriate support, individuals can work towards breaking the cycle and developing healthier ways of managing anxiety and other mental health challenges. Recognizing these subtle signs requires a compassionate and informed perspective. If you suspect that a child is dealing with a narcissistic mother, offering a safe space, empathetic support and potentially professional guidance can be crucial steps towards helping the child cope with and heal from the emotional challenges they may face. The dynamics of a home where parents suffer from narcissism involve an intricate interplay of behaviors, emotions and consequences that shape the family environment. Narcissism, with its inherent self-centeredness and lack of empathy, creates a distinct atmosphere that influences how family members interact, communicate and relate to one another. These dynamics often lead to a range of challenges and coping mechanisms that impact the emotional well-being and development of all those involved. A complex and often challenging environment greatly affects the family members involved. Narcissism, with its inherent self-centeredness, need for admiration and lack of compassion, casts a shadow that can shape the way relationships, communication and emotional well-being unfold within and outside of the family unit. In such homes, the effects ripple through various aspects, giving rise to a complex tapestry of interactions, struggles and coping mechanisms. The impact of a narcissistic mother extends far beyond her immediate family and can affect a wide range of people in her social circle and beyond. Narcissistic behavior is characterized by a focus on one's own needs, a lack of empathy, and a constant need for admiration and attention. As a result, the people who interact with a narcissistic mother, whether they are family members, friends, colleagues, or acquaintances, can experience various negative effects. Family members, spouse, partner. The spouse or partner of a narcissistic mother often bears the brunt of her self-centeredness. They might find themselves in a relationship where their needs and feelings are consistently disregarded, leading to feelings of emotional neglect and frustration. Within such dynamics, partners find it increasingly challenging to express their own desires and establish an emotionally balanced connection. This continuous struggle can lead to emotional exhaustion as they navigate the unpredictable shifts in the mother's self-focused attention. Children. Children of narcissistic mothers can face profound emotional challenges. They may struggle with low self-esteem, an inability to assert themselves, and difficulty forming healthy relationships due to the inconsistent and conditional love they receive. The maternal figure, expected to provide a safe haven, becomes a source of emotional bewilderment. This turbulence can extend well into adulthood, influencing their capacity to trust, to cultivate self-worth, and to cultivate genuine connections. Siblings. Siblings within a family with a narcissistic mother might experience competition for attention and affection. The dynamics can lead to rivalry and jealousy as the narcissistic mother's favoritism or criticism can intensify sibling conflicts. In an arena where competition for the limited approval of the mother reigns supreme, sibling relationships become fraught with resentment and contribute to the fragmentation of the family unit. Friends, emotional drain. Friends of a narcissistic mother might find themselves emotionally drained after spending time with her. Narcissists tend to dominate conversations and focus on their own problems, leaving little room for the concerns and needs of others. The lopsided nature of such interactions leaves friends drained emotionally, grappling with a sense of fatigue and powerlessness. Manipulation. Narcissistic mothers might manipulate their friends to gain their sympathy, support or admiration. Friends can become unwittingly entangled in the mother's web of self-centeredness. The narcissistic mother might make up narratives that portray her as a victim, manipulating friends to provide the emotional validation she craves. 
In these friendships, the reciprocity often evaporates, leaving friends feeling exploited and used. Colleagues slash co-workers. Competitiveness. In professional settings, a narcissistic mother might engage in a competitive attitude, trying to outshine or belittle her colleagues. This behavior can create a hostile and uncomfortable work environment where collaboration and teamwork suffer in favor of individual agendas. The toxic atmosphere can hamper overall productivity and dampen the morale of the workplace. Toxic dynamics. A narcissistic mother might create toxic dynamics within a workplace by trying to exert control, seeking special treatment, or manipulating others for personal gain. She ignites a climate rife with power struggles and tension. Colleagues navigate through an intricate maze of manipulation as the narcissistic mother seeks to enhance her own position at the expense of others. Extended family, division and estrangement. The behavior of a narcissistic mother can lead to division and estrangement within extended family members. Her manipulations, favoritism or attempts to control constrain relationships and create rifts among relatives. As family members unwittingly become pawns in her quest for validation, the resulting rifts create strained relationships and fractures emerge within the extended family unit. Community and social circles. Drama and instability. Narcissistic behavior can introduce drama and instability to social circles. The focus on self can lead to conflicts, attention-seeking behavior, and emotional turmoil that affect the overall harmony of the group. Friends and acquaintances may find themselves entangled in the wake of a narcissistic mother's attention-seeking actions leading to fractured relationships and an atmosphere of unease. Acquaintances, superficial relationships. Narcissistic mothers might form superficial connections with acquaintances as they primarily seek admiration and attention. These relationships can feel one-sided and insincere as the narcissistic mother focuses on projecting her achievements and garnering praise. Acquaintances may feel that these connections lack depth and authenticity. A narcissistic mother has a far-reaching impact on those around her. It comes with consequences rippling through several facets of life, emotions, interactions and beliefs of whoever's involved with her. Engaging with a person suffering from narcissism requires careful thinking, creating healthy boundaries and taking care of one's own emotional well-being. It's difficult but not impossible as long as you seek support from the right people, including proper professional help. Those affected by a narcissistic mother can build emotional resilience amidst the challenges they face by doing their best to practice a bit of patience, awareness, empathy and self-care. Your stories and experiences with narcissistic manipulation are powerful. Share in the comments and let others know they're not alone. By understanding the tactics of a narcissist, we can safeguard against their snares. If this resonates, give a thumbs up, share and subscribe for more insights. Remember, you deserve love and respect. Stand strong and until our next deep dive, take care.